jazzed with jazzed, jazzed yeah, with yeah. like minded people. Like minded people. I do we do what? Yep. Yeah. I think um, in any organization you will find them. They are people I call them of like hearts. Mm -hmm. In this room you you have found that. A lot of new people here. You have found that here. Just search for them. Don't expect the boss to accept it. Uh, I can give you examples of that, but we're talking about did we, have we covered this? Convey to my current employer, I wouldn't convey anything. I'd just go demonstrate. And they'll start asking, what, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Well, you know, and just keep doing it. And it becomes infectious. The next one is the business case for clearer results. Right. Well, the business case, you just saw it. 47%, I mean, talk to any business, they get that. In four or five years, what the guideline, 47% increase in donations. You get the same thing with customers, it's all the same. Who wouldn't want that? How do I do it? Where do I sign up? It's work. New practical insights. Anybody here that didn't get practical insights? That takes care of that. Good examples. Refresher on the basics. I think we certainly covered that. We didn't cover all the basics, but we got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. How to engage a low performer. Mm. Uh, you got one suggestion, move them to a different seat on the bus or off the bus. Uh, another one is uh, listen to them. Just let them be heard or her. Uh, listening goes a long way and don't expect immediate results when you're listening. You're, you're not listening so that you can be heard. You're listening so that you can understand, deep understanding. Who is this person? Where did they come from? Why are they where they are? Understand that life timeline. When I interview somebody, I never when I'm finished with the interview, I can tell you why that person is who they are, where they are, and what happened along the line, more or less. At least I think when I'm at the end, I can, because of the interview. Listen first, what does it mean? Yeah, I think we just... Well, I, I think we just talked to that. Yes. Um, but th this is a good one, Christian engagement. I don't think if you're in an organization, you want to be a Christian engager. That's my bias. I come up through a very fundamental kind of faith background early in life, and I'm 81, so I've seen a lot of stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, you can look at any faith group in the world, and you will find similar principles. Now, that may rub some people wrong, but if you start talking about Christians, you're going to take more people out of the building than into the building, or somebody listening. I will tell you this, on a world basis, this is a guy that spent his whole life doing this, talking to world leaders about not forgetting the least privileged in their society, in their deliberation. A guy named Doug Coe just died last year. Uh, and whenever he used the word Jesus, I'd like to talk to you about Jesus, there was one deal. If he were to talk about Christianity, he, in some countries, they'd hang him. Others, they'd throw him in jail. And no leaders are interested in talking to him. And what's the last one? To come over here. How to stay positive as a leader. Listen to yourself. Look in the mirror. Take a walk in the woods. Listen to the wind. Listen to nature. Listen to the symphony of a city is a good way to re-energize yourself. Look what is. I mean, we are all a gift. We are all been set on this planet. We had nothing to say about it. Everything that goes on in our life, we had little to say about it. We do have some decisions to make, but it's all a gift. And if you get down, just look at what is, not what isn't. That's just my personal philosophy. You may have your own. I was going to say keep coming to round tables and be around people like this in the room because that will reinvigorate you and it will um, help you stay positive so you can go back and be positive as you need to. Mm -hmm.